Hi there guys. Um, this morning's video, I want to, um, it's, it's gonna, it really is gonna be short. Um, but I wanted to speak to the men, the, um, the alpha males, the gods, the kings. Um, now, I know there's so much going on right now with black men and black women. Um, I want to be a, um, I try to stay neutral. I really do. I mean, truth is truth. You know, when you get down to the bottom line, truth is just truth, you know. Um, but um, anyway, let me, let me get on to what I was, why I'm making this video. Um, now we know we got alpha males, we got what they call beta males. We have real men and we have a lot of little boys. I think the little boys are really over, um, over, uh, I think they're out there more being seen and being heard more than the real men are. I think the men are somewhere, these alpha males are probably somewhere on jobs, taking care of their families and uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Because uh, by nature, alpha males that I have personally seen and known don't put themselves out there like that. You know, they're out there doing what they are supposed to be doing. They're not uh, trying to be seen and everything, you know, a lot of them are quiet and they sit behind uh, the scenes They're given what they need to give they share what they need to share and they're doing what they need to do But they don't make a big production about it. You know, it's just strong and silent like a real man so uh, Let me share this real quick Let, let me say real quick um, I am so blessed that every man at this point that's in my life or that I have any contact with is an alpha male. And um, you have no idea how beautiful and wonderful that is. It, it's awesome, you know. Uh, and so I know who they are. I know what they look like. I know how they sound. You know, I know the characteristics of alpha males. And... Um, like I say, it's a beautiful thing. You know, it, it's, an, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, so, I had, uh, on yesterday, I had um, a conversation with one of my beautiful alpha male friends. Uh, he, I, I just really just you know happened to speak to him and he just came back at me like you know oh you know sister goddess whatever it is he calls me um I just you know I'm so glad you spoke to me this morning because I really you know I'm really taking I, I really I'm taking on a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but I'm really taking on a lot this morning. I'm really feeling kind of overwhelmed and I just need to talk to somebody. Now, first of all, this struck me because he's always strong. He is always a wall, <laughs> you know, uh, I've never seen him in any sign of weakness. I know it happens because we're all human. I mean, the, the goddesses, the queens get, we get down uh, and we get on the verge of breaking we need strength you know what i'm saying we need a lot of strength especially dealing with what we deal with out here you know trying to r remain a queen or whatever and you in the midst of it's hard uh, and those of you who are queens you know exactly what i'm talking about you know but um so I was, of course, you know, and it actually, let me be honest. This is what he actually said. As I remember, he said he needed to talk, but he said he didn't uh, want to transfer, you know, his negative feelings and vibes and what he was uh, feeling onto me. And uh, which I thought was very, very sweet. 
But at the same time, you know, I, I told him the goddesses have to be, you know, sometimes the gods have to be able to lean on us, you know, and that's fine. And that's well. And that, that's because that's where we get the strength from, you know, um, real quick before I finish. This is what we need to understand. We can, you know, I talk about the goddess, the mother goddess, the divine feminine energy, fem, uh, feminine energy that's here and nobody can do anything about it. Uh, and how the, the women, real true uh, women are now awakening and arising and coming into our own and, and, and finding out what we need to do to, you know, help Mother Earth. <laughs> um and get things back in order we need men we need the men this is the issue men you have these men out here who are terrified and afraid when you start talking like that but the true kings gods or whatever you want to call them know the mother goddess they know the uh you know they know the divine feminine energy they may not understand it all but they know and they know their place and they know they, their spot and they know that we need to come together as a balance you it can't just be feminine energy you need that alpha male energy you you have to have that so this is why these men are not afraid of it and you have other ones the betas who are not who don't understand at all and they're afraid and they're frightened and they start cussing and I, you know and so um, he's one that understands getting back to my friend uh, he understands it he understands it completely um, and so anyway um, we talked and basically his issue is the same one that so many of us women um, goddesses the, the, the real so many of us women out here experience and I'm sorry I, I got my coffee this morning I have to <laughs> gotta have my coffee this morning but um, it was that he is dealing with being a king or an alpha male in the presence of all these beta males and he just said that it's it's a hard fight he said he's he he didn't say he was getting tired of fighting but he said he wonders sometimes how can he continue this fight when you have all of these black men out here who are promoting the degradation of black women and the um hurt and harm and cussing out black women and calling them bees and calling them hoes and all that. I mean, he was like, I, he felt like he was a, I don't know, a small fish in a big ocean. And he wasn't, how can he continue to make an impact? You know, uh, that was bothering him. He also said that, you know, and I know personally, I know that he respects all women. You know, even women who do not respect themselves. He still calls them queens. I know him. And so um, he said that, you know, when he just tries to be kind to a sister or just try to, you know, uh, lift a sister up or just, you know, whatever, uh, he said he gets treated coldly. And I know that hurts him because he has a huge heart. And, you know, he, you know, he was like, you know, it makes him feel bad because, um, he knows that the reason is because of all these other ones out here who act an ass. And it just comes back even on the good ones. And I had to tell him, <laughs> you know, once again, it's the same thing. The queens, the goddesses, the, 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 the women, the women, we get, we get it too. We get thrown into the same pot with the bitches and the hoes and the, and, and, and the bed winches and we get thrown into uh, the, uh, the the welfare mama, the uh, the uh, baby daddy mama. And, uh, you know, and, and let me let me say this also. You can be a welfare mom and a baby mama, whatever, and you can still have integrity. You can still, um, 
I'm not saying that to say that these women are nothing. I'm not saying that. Because people recover. Sometimes people need welfare and food stamps and Medicaid and all this stuff just to get ahead. Just to break even half the time. That don't mean that you're, you know, some scandalous woman because you get food stamps. It doesn't mean that you're a scandalous woman because you had a baby by some guys who didn't want to commit or some guys who don't want to stand up to their responsibilities. And yeah, so maybe you're a baby mom. I don't know. Maybe you chose to end the relationship. Maybe you chose uh, not to be with him because you saw some stuff in him that you just don't want to deal with and you don't want to put that on your children. So it's, it's a lot of reasons. And these are the things that is, is so bad when people stereotype. Oh, you got five children by different dad. You don't you don't know the situation. You you really don't. I mean, yeah, maybe it looks bad to you, but you you don't know what happened. You don't know what happened. You know, so you can't you can't put her down as a no good piece of slut trash or whatever because she, you know, you we we have to stop the judging. Anyway, getting back to my friend cuz I said I was going to make this a short video. <laughs> Uh, getting back to him, uh, he he got his strength. We talked. Um, we uh, I understood. You know, he talked to me. I talked to him, and we got strength from each other. You know, uh, of course. You know, he told me how much he appreciated me and appreciated talking to me and helping him and everything. But I got strength from him too. You know, and this once again is where I'm talking about. Um, the balance of energy, the balance, it's not just about divine feminine energy. It is also about alpha male energy. We have to have it. We have to have it. It's, it's it can't be just one sided, you know, it, it can't be. Uh, and so, um, that was pretty much it with him. That was pretty much it with him, but I wanted to, um, just acknowledge the alpha males. I, I know many of you are out there. I know you're doing what you need to do. You're struggling sometimes, but you're trying to take care of your families. You're trying to be stand up men. You're trying to respect women. You are reading. You are gaining knowledge. You're trying to teach. You're trying to encourage. You're trying to give. You're trying to give back. Um, we know. It's a lot of us women out here who know all black men are not the same. We know all men are not here on YouTube bashing and trashing us and all this. We know this. We know this. And I think uh, the alpha males don't get enough attention and encouragement. But trust me, there are those of us out here who know we love you. We care about you. We're going to, uh, you know, be the balance for you. We are going to uh, stand by you. We're going to uh, continue to lift you up. And we we are going to do this together. Eventually, eventually, uh, it's going to be that these, these beta males are going to, you know, they're, they're going to have to go somewhere else. You know, it, it, it's, the, we're still awakening, you know, so we just have to be patient until it happens, you know. Uh, I know I'm a goddess and I, I hate to be called bitch and hoe because some small minded black man calls all women bitches and hoes. I mean, he, he don't think anything of it, you know, that that hurts me. It bothers me. It pisses me off and everything else. But for the time being, I got to get thrown in the fishbowl with everybody else, you know, and it's not about us women who they're disrespected. It's about them. It's about their small minds. It's about how they think and feel and treat women. And, you know, that's what it's about. But like I say, until then, we all get thrown into the mix, just like the good men, the, the good, the strong beta uh, uh, alpha males out there who uh, have to get treated coldly by women <laughs> or, uh, you know, called a no good nigga and I, I, you know just all of this kind of stuff because she's mad at all black men because of what some black men have done to her and how they have hurt her and what we see out here 
Sometimes you want to say all black men. You you really do. Sometimes you want to say that. But I personally can't say that because, like I say, I know too many good alpha black men. I know too many. And, and like I say, thankfully, I think the creator that I am, I am, that's who I'm surrounded with. You know, I, I know another very special, beautiful man in my life who, uh, you know, he he acknowledges me as a goddess. I acknowledge him, of course, as a god. And uh, he, I mean, he teaches me stuff. He sh uh, shows me stuff. He, you know, he helps me so much. Uh, he understands uh, matriarchy. He understands patriarchy. He understands, I mean... <sighs> And he's a quiet brother. He doesn't he doesn't make himself known. He's not out here on YouTube doing videos. The other brothers not either. Uh, but they teach and they know and they understand and they treat me awesomely. <laughs> I love it. I love being surrounded by alpha males. I, I love it, you know. And they're let me say this too. They're not kissing my behind. They're not, you know, just trying to get something or whatever. Uh, it's that they know. Is that they know, and I treat them the same way. You know, that's that. It's that balance. It's that balance. So anyway, um, I just wanted, I just wanted to shout that out. I just wanted to acknowledge uh, the the alphas that uh, we know you're out there struggling and trying, and you know, it, it's gonna be all right. <laughs> Eventually, it's gonna be all right. Uh, I don't, there's something else I want to say, but I don't want to make the video too long. I don't want to, uh, I don't even know if I need to, I've already said it, so I might as well say it. Um, there was an event that I took place in on yesterday. Uh, and I'll, I'll tell who the person is that, uh, put it together and how it came out and everything, uh, here shortly. But basically what this was was a movement, a worldwide movement. There were people from all everywhere, uh, all around the world, all 50 states who uh, participated in this. Um, and uh, I am so thankful that I was able to get in on it uh, and participate at the exact time that they were participating in, in it because I have been so busy in my life. You know, leave it at that. But... Um, this was for the reason, let me tell you the reason first. The reason that it was done uh, is because the woman who pretty much organized it said that, you know, she was doing it for all of these missing black girls uh, all around the country who have uh, gone missing. And so um, it began as that. And then it started kind of taking on a life of its own that we women, it was a woman's movement. We women are sick of patriarchy. We're not sick of men. You all need to understand patriarchy is a system. We're not talking about being sick of men. I am not a feminist. Anyway, uh, we're talking about the system. Of patriarchy and what it has done to the world to the earth what it is still doing we're sick of that we're tired of that we're ready for the divine feminine energy to get the strength of all of us women and sisters together um, and take back over the way it used to be the way it should be is what it is and ain't about what it used to be the way it should be you know uh, they have taken so much from women through all of these centuries, they have taken so much from women and suppressed women. Uh, and so you have had an imbalance. You know, you've had an imbalance in the earth. We, we see what all of this male energy has done to the earth. I don't even have to begin to, uh, you know, I don't even have to list it. We already know. We see. We need this divine fem feminine energy to uh, be prominent. We, we, we need to have it. And so that is what we did. It was an activation of the power of divine feminine energy. And we all spoke some words. It was a little saying that we said at one o'clock on yesterday, 
which is the 13th. The 13th is a powerful feminine number that we are also determined to take back. They have perverted the number 13, made it uh, a bad, horrible, black, wicked, evil. Thing. It's not. It's not. And so we're taking our number back and we're taking, uh, matter of fact, the 13th of every month. Any women out there, view who want to uh, begin to participate, it's every uh, month. It's going to be every month on the 13th at 1 p.m. straight up, straight up 1 p.m. Uh, we are using the colors of purple and white. Uh, we are choosing these color beautiful colors is unity and uh you know togetherness uh you wear pur purple you surround yourself with purple and white you um uh uh, uh you can do purple balloons you can let off some purple and white balloons purple and white is what i'm trying to say um but yeah this is this is our colors this is what we're doing and we are activating the divine feminine energy to get stronger. I mean, it, it male energy and these these male organizations, these uh, male clubs, these all of this stuff has been so prominent throughout the centuries, and they have um, lifted up this power, and they have done all these things to break feminine energy to. Um, make themselves higher and stronger and it's time now for us we women to begin to rise up and begin to you know do some things on our own and that is the first thing that we are are, are doing and calling upon um the elements and the power of the of the universe and the power of the earth mother gaia mother tamat whatever you want to call it however you want to you know ma'at whatever you know Righteousness, truth, and balance, love, purity, you know, this is what we want to come back. We we have to have divine feminine energy. So, like I say, those of you who want to participate, it's the 13th of every month at 1 o'clock straight up. Now, uh, for the words to say, the woman uh, who I am a avid follower. I absolutely love her. I follow her on YouTube. I follow her blog talk. I, I mean, she's awesome. She's awesome. Uh, people might think she's cuckoo. <laughs> people think I'm cuckoo. I don't care. But um, her name is Fleurburn. And she's here on YouTube. She has her own station, uh, her own channel, Fleurburn. And um, she is the organizer of this. She's a beautiful spirit. She's the organizer of this. Uh, and so you can go to her channel. Uh, and matter of fact, I think if you put in something about the divine energy activation, uh, something like that, it should come up. And then you'll be able to, because she pinned the post. She pinned uh, what we speak at 1 o'clock. And we say it three times. You know, we say it three times or for one minute or whatever at one o'clock and then that's it. You're done, you know, and you know that you have made an impact and we, we know this is going to make an impact, you know, and you yourself, if you want to get your own words or whatever to say to the universe, to, to pray to uh, the Mother Earth, to, to pray, to tear down patriarchy, to tear down the wickedness and the hurt that has been done to the planet. You know, I mean, you, you're you not a feminist, you're not a man-hater or any of this because you love the earth. My, my beautiful alpha male friends, they love the earth. <laughs> they love the earth. They love the planet. They love trees. You know what I'm saying? They love, uh, they, they understand. They, they don't hurt. They don't kill. They, I mean, you know, so it's, it's not a woman thing. They're, the alpha males that I know love the earth too. And they want, they, they hate patriarchy too. This system of patriarchy. Uh, so anyway, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Um, I think I went long enough. You alpha males, we love you. You keep your heads up. You be strong. We're struggling and fighting with you. And we are going to win, period. We're going to win. I don't know if it will be in my lifetime. 
uh, my daughter's lifetime, whatever, but we are going to win. We're going to get this planet back and we're going to, you know, it, it's time. It's time. Look, look at all this. It's time. So uh, you guys have a great day. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And please subscribe to this video, to this channel. Um, and until the next video, we'll see you next time.